Hello everyone, welcome to the world of software testing. So in the last lecture, we have gone through some of the concepts related to agile methodology and the scrum team roles such as product owner, scrum master and scrum team. So hope you have watched those previous lectures. If you did not watch it, please watch that videos to understand the agile methodology concepts completely. Interviewers ask the questions related to the agile methodology for sure in almost all the interviews. So you must be prepared on all the questions related to the agile as almost all the companies are using the agile methodology in their projects. So in this lecture, let's discuss about the agile artifacts or also called as the agile documents and the agile ceremonies or also called as the agile meetings. So these are the uh, agile artifacts here. So the first one is the product backlog. Then the second one is the sprint backlog. And then here is the user stories. So this again uh, comes under the agile artifacts. And these are the agile ceremonies that is the sprint planning meeting, then the daily scrum meeting, daily status meeting or daily stand up meeting or the daily stand up call. So uh, various people are using the various uh, terminologies. And then the third one is this is a sprint review meeting and then the retrospective meeting. So let's learn this all these artifacts and the ceremonies. So first we will cover the agile artifacts or the documents. So which are the product backlog, sprint backlog and the user stories. So the basically the artifacts allow everyone from the team to review and adopt the work from the same information base. So this is basically the purpose of the Agile Artifacts to review and adopt the work from the same information base. So let's understand the first artifact that is the product backlog. So the, the product backlog is a visible order list of everything we know we will need to do to deliver the product and what the team work will work on the next. So the product owner is accountable for the content means the requirement and the order of the items in the product backlog. So basically the product backlog is prepared by the product owner and he is accountable for the order of the list, order of the requirements present in the product backlog. So means which requirement is highly prioritized and which should go first to the production. So based on the client requirement or the priority the product owner prioritize the requirements in the product backlog. So means the total requirements of the project received from the stakeholder are documented by the product owner and that document is termed as a product backlog document. So which contains the total requirements of the project received from the stakeholder. So the product backlog uh, which contains all the product requirements and the product backlog is prepared by the product owner. So this is this is a product backlog artifact. Then let's move on to the second artifact that is the sprint backlog. So once the product backlog document is prepared, the sprint planning meeting will be happened and the scrum team will be a part of this meeting. So in the sprint planning meeting, the specific requirements are picked up from the team commitment for the specific sprint. Specific sprint means the upcoming sprint which we are going to which is going to happen and that will be documented and that document is termed as a sprint backlog. So this is nothing but a, a document which contains the specific requirements for the upcoming sprint. So this is this is decided by the scrum team basically. As per the team commitment, this uh, sprint backlog document is created. So the scrum team will pick these requirements for the particular sprint based upon the estimation process. So there will be an estimation process happens in the sprint planning meeting and based on that the re certain requirements are freezed for the particular sprint that is the upcoming sprint. So the sprint backlog is prepared by the scrum team during the sprint planning meeting and it contains the list of product backlog items the scrum team has to has selected to deliver in the upcoming sprint. 
the sprint backlog also includes the plan for delivering the selected product backlog items and a sprint goal that is summarizing the purpose of the sprint so what is the purpose of the sprint that is specifically defined in the sprint backlog document so basically the sprint backlog document states why what and how so so why to develop what is what what what, what to develop and how to develop so the complete goal which is mentioned in the sprint backlog document and the estimation process we will discuss in the upcoming lectures in more detail so this is nothing but a sprint backlog the third artifact is the user story so the user story means a feature or a module in the software the user story is a very high level definition of the requirement containing just enough information so that the developers can produce a reasonable estimate of the effort to implement it and user stories are prepared by the product owner so these are the artifacts we have seen the first one is the product backlog document which contains all the requirements or expectation received from the stakeholder and it is prepared by the product owner the second is the sprint backlog so uh, in the sprint planning meeting the scrum team decides and pick some of the requirement for the upcoming sprint and based on that requirements the sprint backlog document is created and it contains what what to develop why to develop and how to develop the, so that's it and then the last one is the user story so it is nothing but a feature or a model in the software so let's move on to the agile ceremonies or agile meetings or uh, also it is called as agile events So basically the agile ceremonies are the meetings with a defined length, frequencies and the goals. The purpose of agile ceremonies is to help the project term teams plan, track and engage the stakeholders with their work and help them reflect on how well they have worked together. So this is the main purpose of agile ceremonies. So what are those? So the first is the sprint planning meeting. So this is the sprint planning meeting. Then the second is daily scrum meeting also uh, known as daily stand up meeting daily status meeting or a daily stand up call then the third one is the sprint review meeting and the last one is the retrospective meeting so these are the four agile ceremonies are available so let's discuss about the sprint planning meeting so just to give some background understand the process briefly so the product owner is the one who is a face to the clients from the organization side and always interacting with the stakeholder or the executives from the client side. The product owner takes the input in terms of stakeholder requirements from the stakeholders, executives and other team members from the stakeholder side. Once the product owner gets all the requirements from the stakeholder, he will document all the requirements into one document that is called as a product backlog. So which we have seen in the earlier slides the product product owner will list out all the stories in the product backlog document once the product backlog is ready the sprint planning meeting will be happened and everybody from the scrum team is involved in the sprint planning meeting so the team will review all the stories in the product backlog and some of the stories will be picked for that particular sprint by the scrum team so this is basically with the help of scrum team commitment the particular stories or some of the stories will be picked for the upcoming sprint and based on those picked stories committed by the team the sprint backlog document is created so this is the sprint backlog document and then the sprint planning meeting is the first meeting happens on the first day of the sprint so basically during this sprint planning meeting the the team will commit some of commit and uh, pick some of the requirements for the upcoming sprint so this is basically the purpose of the sprint planning meeting so the sprint planning meeting is the first meeting happens on the first day of the sprint and the sprint requirements and planning gets freezed during the meeting the planning in the sense the goal of goal of the upcoming sprint that is what is desired outcome of the upcoming sprint what product backlog documents can be accomplished can be accomplished in the upcoming sprint and determine how to achieve each item so this is basically the goal of the sprint planning meeting the purpose of the sprint planning meeting is to discussion and plan up requirement 
and completion so basically we are we are doing the plan for the upcoming sprint here the test lead and development lead does the resource and the job allocation activity and in parallel the product owner explains the user stories so that everyone should be on the same page in terms of understanding of the requirement so there should not be any understanding gap in between the team so that's why product owner explains each of the user stories to the everyone so that everyone should be on the same page the roles involved during the sprint planning meeting are the scrum team the scrum master and the product owner and the frequency of this meeting is once per every sprint and the duration for this meeting is around two to four hours and varies sometimes so this is basically the sprint planning meeting so this is this is the first meeting or the first agile artifacts not artifacts agile ceremony the next is the daily scrum meeting uh, it is also called as daily status daily status meeting daily stand up meeting or the daily stand up call so the daily stand up meeting is the second meeting which happens on a daily basis and this is conducted by the scrum master so this is basically a daily basis call and conducted by the scrum master the purpose of daily scrum meeting is to get the daily project status from the scrum team that is how we are progressing in terms of our set print goals sprint goals so that will be discussed in this meeting and the status will be given to the scrum master so all the team developers testers that is scrum team is involved in this meeting and they provide their daily status to the scrum masters so like what have what have you accomplished since the last meeting what are you working on before the next meeting any blockers that are preventing to proceed further activities so these questions will arise in this meeting and the status will be given to the scrum master so in case of any blockers it's very important to pass it to the scrum master in this meeting so it is very important that scrum master knows if there are any blockers in the process or maybe in the application the roles involved during this meeting are the scrum team scrum master and the product owner so everyone should be a part of this meeting and then the frequency of this meeting is a daily basis and duration of this meeting is around 15 to 20 minutes and uh, sometimes it lasts up to 30 minutes maximum but maximum it, it must be a 15 to 20 minutes short call the scrum master is the chairperson for this meeting so he is the one who hosts this meeting specifically to get the status and based on the status in the daily stand up call scrum master can prepare the burn down and burn up charts which gives an idea about the status such as how much work is completed versus how much was planned and how much is pending so th this type of status he will get with the help of burn down and burn up charts so again the burn down and burn up charts will discuss in the uh, upcoming lectures in detail so this is the daily scrum meeting so which happens on a daily basis and conducted by the scrum master to get the daily status from the team so let's move on to the third meeting that is the sprint review meeting so the sprint review meeting happens almost at the end of the sprint but just before the piece of application delivered to the client so before before the application goes to the client or delivered deployed to the client side so the sprint review meeting will happen in the sprint review meeting the points get discussed related to the overall points such as what were all the stories planned for the sprint what are all the stories completed in the sprint what are all the stories are pending in the sprint and if all the bugs are closed or not so such type of questions arises during the sprint review meeting and that will be discussed and presented to the client so here the client involvement is there in the sprint review meeting and the senior developers testers will provide the demo to the demo to the product owner and if it's successful as per the client expectation then the application is delivered to the client and so basically this meeting is to give the demo of work to the stakeholders celebrate and highlight the accomplishments and determine the next actions so here the product owner also plays an important role as he is aware of the overall 
customer expectations client expectations so he can also be a part of this meeting and he can also approve the particular sprint many times or we can say in the absence of client and roles involved during this meeting are the scrum team scrum master and the product owner along with the stakeholder so stakeholder is the part of this meeting duration for this meeting is for about two to four hours and frequency of this meeting is once per every sprint and the scrum master is just an observer in this meeting so he will not take any part but he is just an observer in this meeting so this is the third sprint review meeting and we let's move on to the last one that is a retrospective meeting so once after the application is delivered to the stakeholder at the end of the release then the retrospective meeting will be planned to discuss internally so upon some of the points so like what went well during the sprint what went wrong during the sprint what are the areas we need to improve or any lessons learned during the sprint so this type of questions arises during the retrospective meeting and to determine the next actions on it so retrospective meeting happens at the end of the sprint so once the piece of code or the release cycle completed and the piece of application is delivered to the client then the retrospective meeting is happen internally so based on the joint discussion internally team will find the better ways of doing the work and will ensure to take care of the issues in the upcoming sprint so whatever the lessons learned in this uh, in the in the current sprint so that will be incorporated into the upcoming sprint so roles involved during this sprint uh, during this meeting are the scrum team and the scrum master and duration for this meeting is for about 2 to 4 hours and the frequency of this meeting is once per every sprint so this is nothing but a retrospective meeting so we have covered all the four agile ceremonies or the agile meetings or agile events so yeah thanks for watching this video please do subscribe our channel for such more videos and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates so in the upcoming lectures we will complete the remaining points related to the agile methodologies such as the advantages disadvantages and when to use the agile scrum models and some of the features of agile model we are going to discuss so yeah thank you so much for watching